when the famous green and gold of Brazil appears anywhere in the world, there's always a, a sense of occasion. The last time they were here was in 63. Uh, the match was drawn. And of course, uh, the only time England won was the first time they ever met. That was at Wembley in 56 when England won 4 2. On other team news, this is the 11 that uh, Ron Greenwood chose on Monday. And he said at the time that was all he'd got left. He had to pick uh, anyone who was warm and walking. Six changes for the team that lost 2 1 to Germany mainly enforced through injuries and club calls. Meanwhile, Brazil, they've had a late change. Oscar, their talented centre-back, described by the manager, Coutinho, as one of their world-class players, has a slight fever, so he's not being risked. And Abel, the big centre-back, comes in wearing number 40. The famous Zico. Described as a white pele, which he objects to, he says it's not reasonable. His line is, he plays in a different way, and I think he'll prove that tonight. Plays much more from the midfield. The two centre-backs, and Brazil kick off. In fact, the South American side has never beaten England at Wembley. Zico's first field. Six is Adinho, the fullback. Amaral, sweeper. Adinho loves to attack, hit the bar against West Germany, and the pitch beat him. It has been raining very slightly. Stevie Koppel for England. Ball fleeced out of play. Diaseu. Francis to Keegan, to Latchford. Curry, number eight, Koppel. McMills to Koppel, number eight. Keegan. Good player, though. Skillful. Diaseo. Watson in the way. Couple for England. Keegan. Good run behind the defence by Francis. Mills is broken forward. Mills! What a piece of intelligent play by the Ipswich captain. He came all the way from the back. Nobody found him at all. Francis saw him but he just could not reach the cross. But significant that no one found him, no one covered him. Salazo, Diaseo, Adinho, Revelino, and they mustn't lie in space for shooting because his shooting can be deadly. Gilles. 1-0, and Corrigan didn't even see it. Corrigan just didn't see it. Gilles beat the back Terry very easily, saw daylight, and that was that. Devastating finishing. Cherry left completely. The space was there, and the ball inside the near post with Corrigan unable to get down quickly enough. A tremendous shot, and that was Brazilian attacking at its very best. Curry. Keegan, Curry, beaten by number 11, Deseo, and the ball played back by Cerezo to Amaral. This is Adinho. Rivellino. Zico. Greenhoff. Adinho. England just can't afford to give the ball away like that. Rivellino, the skills beginning to show. Look at this, it's magic. Gilles. No power in the shot. But the build-up play... So enjoyable and so skillful. It's Curry. Keegan. 
Cherry. Barnes. Amaral just fighting Keegan. Good tackle finally by number 14, Abel. That's Rivellino to Abel. Zimaria, Rivellino. And from defence, they find a player in space. Gilles, Zico, Gilles tearing down that touchline. Orthodox right wingman, Mills. What a shock that goal must have been to the English defence. And what a lesson too. They've really got to close down the Brazilian attackers. Watson to number seven, Keegan. Carpal. Mills to Latchford. Carpal. Mills again, two. Cross just wasn't good enough. Got two against two down the middle. Nunes. Green up and lucky, a handball, was it? No. And finally blocked to Zico's shot. England a bit lucky. Salazar. Gilles. Keegan. Back to Amaral. Rivellino. Zico to Sarazo to Zimaria. They have so much confidence in each other's ability. Rivellino. Zico lost the battle to Curry. Now Keegan. Curry. Couple. Francis. Foul by Amaral. Fifteen minutes gone, one nil England on the attack. Keegan, no power. And Leo looked a little bit uncertain. He got right underneath it. Wasn't a ball that should have troubled a goalkeeper at all. Keegan's header, high in the air and dropping, and Leo had got right underneath it. Mills for England. Now Latchford. And that was surely a push. Watson to number six, Curry. Mills. That was right out of the Brazilian textbook. They were practicing the Brazilians these long range shots. And Mills himself is not averse to that sort of thing for his club Ipswich. And that was a very good try indeed. Edinho. He's only found Latchford. Now Koppel. Behind him, Keegan. Koppel again, eight. Keegan. Koppel. Pumped long. Latchford and behind Latchford Barnes. Corner. And as the referee penalised Di Maria, yes. And he's argued his way into the book. The second Brazilian to be booked. Curry again. 
Watson. Still not out. And what a scramble. And the whistle's gone. It's not going to count. And Leo staying down. The ball crossed the line. And interesting to see what happened. That was Watson. The ball knocked up in the air by Edinho. Latchford's in there with the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper's fist goes to it. It comes off Sarazo over the line. But Latchford's going to be penalised. Couple. Watson. Brian Greenhalgh to Watson. Mills, Greenhalgh, the referee is looking at his watch. Played about 90 seconds of injury time. That's Cherry to Greenhalgh. Zemaria. Three doesn't seem to be uh, too impressed. The linesman on, and uh, the half-time whistle's gone anyway. The Brazilian player has been left down. So that's the position after 45 minutes, in which England have enjoyed a great deal of the attacking play. But what a marvelous goal Brazil scored to lead. So Brazil lead by one goal to nil. Just checking around the sides, no half-time substitutions. And the sub-position, by the way, is that the two managers have agreed, this being a friendly, they can make uh, three outfield substitutions and uh, goalkeeper substitutions. Mills for England. Mills, couple. been left for uh, Tony Curry to come across the long deep one towards Lightspin but the defender got it it's Keegan Curry Barnes off Amaral Keegan goalkeeper down quickly body right behind Ricochets back out of Keegan. The shot was firm and true, but right in the goalkeeper's line. Disso. Zico to Disso. That's Revelino. Zico working a triangle. Disso. That's Keegan pinching the ball. Zico back to Zimaria. Good play by Gilles. Controlled it with skill on the right foot, hit it with the left. Mills. Matchford. Couple. Watson. Greenhoff. Curry, or rather Barnes, sorry, Keegan. Hit towards Latchford, who won it, and cleared by Sarazen. Green half and again, there's obstruction there. Tony Curry, number six with the kick. That's Keegan, though, placing it for Curry's left. Oh, he only shoveled it away, and was that a penalty? Well, France has appeared to be brought down, but the referee has given a corner. And just watch what happened there. 
That was Curry's shot. Leo could only push it away and watch what happens with Francis. Kick taken from the wrong spot, but the referee letting go. Game go on. Rivellino. Disso. Rivellino has uh, moved through this game at his own pace. Gilles. Oh, Cherry now reduced to Brazilian tactics. Gilles is worrying him as Barnes is worrying the Brazilian defence. Rivellino's placed the ball, obviously looking to bend it if he powers it. And he's done just that. But the wall was good enough, it did its job, and Corrigan covering the side that the wall couldn't cover. Greenhoff, it's Keegan. Mills, patted in the second half, much the same as the first. England pressure, but no goals. Latchford to Francis. Again, blatant, absolutely blatant. And the crowd entitled to be as upset as they are. So what can England produce from this? And one of the Brazilian players has got booked. He wasn't going to move, it's Batista. He wasn't going to move away from the ball till the wall was ready. Keegan. That is what they wanted. Keegan's shot, deflected, I think, slightly by the wall, and Leo beaten. And that is no more than is deserved. The kick conceded in a dangerous place, blasted at the edge of the wall, and it may not have been touched. So, Keegan goes on the score sheet, and it's one each. Batista, 17. Deseo, Rivellino. Oh, what a good tackle by Watson. Deseo, Zimaria. Zico. Deseo to Rivellino on the famous left foot. And neither direction or par. The left foot that's known as the cannon. Fifteen minutes to go. Brazil's lead goal scored by Gilles, the England equaliser by Keegan. Keegan. Curry. Francis. Keegan. Good run by Francis, he was involved originally. Barnes in support, appealing, but ignored. It might have been a better ball to give it to Barnes. Batista. Batista to Sarazo. Diaseo, Adinho, Rivellino is coming more and more forward. Diaseo, Sarazo, Diaseo. Zimaria. Zico. Good flick by Gilles, but read by Cherry now. Greenhoff. Barnes for England. They really love him, this crowd, Barnes. Every time he touches the ball, the expectation grows. Koppel, Mills, Keegan.
On for Latchford, nine. Couple. Free kick. Bell Taylor took a look at the watch then. It shows 13 minutes left. Zico. Sheel. Watson. Who uh, thought that was a fair shoulder charge. The linesman's flag, he was close. He certainly lent on Gilles. Zimarea to Zico. Rivellino. Adinho. Or rather, De Seo to Adinho. Oh, Corrigan then had to hurry. Adinho's shot, and Corrigan really had to hurry. Scramble momentarily for his footing, but good keeping. Koppel again, number six, Curry. We're playing what injury and stoppage time there is. Rivellino uh, delaying the kick. Keegan, Curry. Rivellino and Miss Curry entirely. Koppel. Mills wants it too. Watson. Dino. Deseo. Sarazo back to Amaral. Brazil appear to be happy with the draw they've got. Played a minute now of stoppage time. Oh, stuck. Just one player forward, and the whistle has gone. The final whistle. The players shake hands. And Brazil go on to the World Cup finals through that, uh, with this 1 1 draw behind them. Just beaten once on the European tour so far, and they've just got one match left. They lost to France in the opening match when the trainer said they were acclimatized. But they're going to be a difficult side to beat. Perhaps their defensive tactics are not to be admired, but some of their attacking play, really, it smacks of genius occasionally. And the midfield skills of Zico and Rivellino, uh, well, we'll be able to enjoy those in full measure when they appear from Argentina. <laughs>